Sunglasses. Check. Hat. Check. Pepsi. Check. What's that other thing? Oh yeah, thick skin. Check. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Bluted, home of the college football fans. So if you are a college football fan, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because that's all we do around here. And when you get a second, go check out the Patreon page. We have a lot of great perks over there. Also check out our revamped and redesigned website created by Joey Foster. We have nine great writers led by our two head writers, Michael Walker and Scotty B, the Baylor King. Yesterday I talked about the teams that I thought would fall in the upcoming season as far as compared to last year. In this video, I I'm going to have a positive approach to things. I'm going to talk about the teams that I think will rise, have a better season than what they did last year, and maybe a better season than what their fans are expecting. The first conference we're going to talk about, the ACC. Yesterday I said that I thought that Pitt, Wake Forest, and Virginia Tech were definitely going to have disappointing seasons compared to last year. But who's going to have a better season than expected? Well, the first team for sure is Miami. I think the Hurricanes are going to have a much better season than what they did last year. They finished 7-5 last year. This is how I'm doing this, guys. I'm going by who I think they'll lose to for sure, who I think they'll beat for sure, and then the 50-50 football games and who I think will win those 50-50 football games. So first, the for sure losses for Miami. I think they lose for sure on the road to Texas A&M. I also think that they will for sure lose on the road to Clemson. That's two for sure losses. What about their for sure wins? Eugene Cookman at home. That's FCS. Easy win. A group of five teams. Southern Miss not very good at home. Another group of five team not very good. Middle Tennessee at home. At Virginia Tech because I think Virginia Tech is going to be bad next year. I think they beat Duke at home. I think they go on the road and beat a better Virginia. I think they beat Florida State at home for sure. And I think they go on the road and beat Georgia Tech for sure. That is eight for sure wins that I have for Miami. That's already one win more than last year. What about their 50-50 football games? There's two of them. First, the home game against North Carolina. I think Miami wins that. It's not a for sure win in my book, but I think Miami's the better team. The other 50-50 football game, Pitt. Also a home game, and I have Pitt taking a step back this year. Not a for sure win. 50-50, but I think the Canes win that game. So I think Miami can go from 7-5 to five, possibly either 9-3 or 10-2. And, two. and I, I'm really leaning towards that 10-2 and two mark. This is not my official prediction video for Miami, but I'm heavily leaning towards that 10-2. and two. The next team in the ACC that I think will have a much better year this year, North Carolina. Last year they finished a disappointing 6-7, and seven, losing their two best running backs really hurt North Carolina. Well, I think they'll have a much better running game this year. First up, their for sure losses. None. I don't think North Carolina has one for sure loss on their schedule. What about their for sure wins? Well, I think they for sure win against Florida A&M, FCS, at Appalachian State, at Georgia State. That's actually smart by North Carolina. Two of their road games they scheduled for group of five teams. That's actually smart. I think they for sure beat Virginia Tech this year and go on the road and beat Duke and also beat Georgia Tech at home. So that's Six for sure wins. That's the same amount of wins that you had last year. What about the 50-50 football games? Well, you get Notre Dame at home. That's 50-50. But I'm leaning in the direction of North Carolina. It is at home. They're going to be much better. Notre Dame will take a slight step back. At Miami, the Hurricanes. You already know I'm already leaning in the direction of Miami, so I'm going to say that's a loss. What about Pitt at home? I think they grab a win against Pitt this year. At Virginia, this is where I think North Carolina actually slips up on the road and loses to Virginia. Do I have Miami beating Virginia on the road? North Carolina losing to Virginia on the road. And then finally, at Wake Forest, I also think that's a loss for North Carolina. So North Carolina could also be looking at a 10-2 season, but the tiebreaker would go over to Miami. Now remember, not my official prediction. That could change. Now let's jump on over to the SEC. This is where people really get their frustrations put out on me. So the two teams that I think will not have a good season, number one, Vanderbilt, which they don't have a good season anyways, usually. And then Arkansas. Yeah, I, I do have Arkansas taking a step back. Still will probably make a ball, though. But the teams that I think will have a much better year this year, the first team, South Carolina. You already knew that I was going to say that if you followed me for the past couple of months. Last year, they went 7-6. For sure losses, just one at Clemson. That is a for sure loss for South Carolina. What about for sure wins? Well, I think they beat Georgia State at home. I think they beat Charlotte at home. I think they beat FCS South Carolina State at home. I think they beat Missouri at home. And I think they go on the road and beat Vanderbilt. For sure. All those for sure wins. That's just five. So a lot of 50-50 football games for South Carolina. First one at Arkansas. This is early in the season. That's going to be an electric atmosphere. That's a loss for South Carolina. But then the game after that, they come back home to Columbia to take on a Georgia who just won 
the national championship, but lost pretty much their entire defense. I think that's a big upset win for South Carolina. Georgia fans don't like me for that prediction. Next game, at Kentucky. If this were at home, I would give South Carolina a win, but it's on the road, so I'm going to say a loss. They do get Texas A&M at home, and yes, I know the history in this series. South Carolina hasn't won a single game. I think they get it done this year. That's a win for South Carolina, in my opinion. At Florida. Florida will be better. I don't think they're going to be good enough to beat South Carolina. That's a win for South Carolina. And finally, Tennessee. If this would be on the road, I would actually give it to Tennessee. It's at home. I'm giving the win to South Carolina. So I think South Carolina could jump from 7-6, and six, which I know that includes their bowl, to 9-3 and three in the regular season. And if they win their bowl, that could be a 10-win season for South Carolina. The next team that I think is going to take a jump in the SEC, Tennessee. Last year, they finished 7-6 and six for sure losses at Georgia. But that's it. Just one for sure loss. What about their for sure wins? Well, I think they beat Ball State at home, a group of five team. Akron, another group of five team at home. I think they beat Florida at home for sure. FCS UT Martin at home. Missouri at home. And at Vanderbilt. That is six for sure wins for Tennessee. One game shy of their total win count from last year. 50-50 football games. But the first game at Pitt. Pitt's not going to be the Pitt that they were last year. Tennessee will be much better. That road environment it, it is not that intimidating. That's a win for Tennessee. At LSU. I think they get the job done and beat LSU on the road. Alabama at home. I really wish I could give this win to Tennessee. But Alabama's just going to be super elite this year. That's a loss for Tennessee. Kentucky at home. Since it's a home game, I'll take Tennessee. So I'm going to give them a win against Kentucky. At South Carolina, tough, tough road game. You already know I'm predicting South Carolina. That's a loss for Tennessee. So overall, Tennessee could go 7-6 and six to 9-3. and three, Possibly a 10-win season if they win their ball. And finally, LSU. Yes, I think LSU has a better season than what they did last year. But how much better? Well, they finished the season, including their bowl, 6-7. and seven. Just one for sure loss for LSU. And that's Alabama. What about their for sure wins? Well, I think they win against Florida State because that's basically a home game in New Orleans. That's a win. FCS Southern, for sure win. Mississippi State at home, for sure win. Group of five and terrible team, New Mexico at home, for sure win. And then group of five team, and even though they're decent, UAB, that's a for sure win for LSU. So that's five for sure wins. Now let's look at their 50-50 football games. This will determine their season. At Auburn, I think they go on the road and get the job done. I think Auburn will be better, but not that much better. They get Tennessee at home. I think Tennessee is just too good this year. That's a loss for LSU. At Florida, Florida will be better, but LSU has had their number. That's a win for LSU. Ole Miss at home. I think they upset the Rebels at home. That is a big time win for LSU if they pull that off. Then they go on the road to Arkansas. I do think that's a loss for LSU. And then on the road to Texas a and Another tough road loss for LSU. So they don't finish the season strong, but overall, a better season. They go from 6-7 and seven to an 8-4 and four regular season. That is a better season. And it could be better than that. Y'all let me know in the comments section whether you agree or disagree with me and where you agree or disagree with me. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.